The Mitsubishi iMeve is a four-door subcompact that never needs a fill-up. As oil prices continue to set record highs, the iMeve is one of dozens of next-generation alternative fuel vehicles on display at the New York Auto Show. Cars such as Subaru's all-electric RE1 and Nissan's Japan-only all-electric Cube are test beds for new automotive technology. And then there are the concepts, such as the Saab 9X Biohybrid, which wins the kitchen sink price for cramming batteries, a corn-powered E85 engine, and a solar panel onto one car and may never be built. All of these cars use next-generation lithium-ion technology and unlike the Prius, all can be plugged in. None, however, are available for U.S. consumers. Nonetheless, the auto industry wants you to know that they're working really hard on alternative fuel vehicles. It is the highest priority project that General Motors currently has. It is at the top of our list. So right now we're driving the Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. And Unlike a lot of the plug-in hybrid concepts on the show floor, this one actually works. Ford's plug-in Escape Hybrid uses lithium-ion batteries, providing 30 miles of all-electric driving before the engine turns on. While the SUV is an experimental test bed, it was a rock-solid drive. In a full morning driving circles in midtown traffic, the Escape plug-in hybrid burned only 35 cents of fuel. Its practical cars, such as the Escape and the hydrogen fuel cell Honda FCX Clarity, that may one day reduce America's dependence on oil. People don't want to live with uh, inconveniences in their vehicles, so it has to be something that hits all, the, uh, hits all the points for a mainstream vehicle as far as everyday use and uh, reliability and all that kind of stuff. So. And that might take some time. A possible solution? Increasing competition by actually holding the competition. It's a race for our future, and it starts now. Peter Diamandis, whose XPRIZE Foundation was behind the $10 million prize for the first private manned space flight, launched the Progressive Automotive X Prize at the New York Auto Show. The competition is to build the fastest 100 plus miles per gallon production capable car. The $10 million purse has already attracted 64 teams, including West Philly High School and their biodiesel hybrid Corvette. So you're designing cars and you don't even drive yet? Yeah, I mean, you gotta start out young. So if Samantha Wright and her high school classmates can build a race car that gets 65 miles to the gallon, when will the rest of America's highways go green? But I actually think we're on the, on the cusp of some, of some pretty serious innovations for vehicles. This is like Henry Ford in his kitchen working on his first engine and trying to make it work. That's the kind of promise, the kind of excitement I think we're experiencing now with this technology. It's just fabulous. So anybody who was laughing then isn't... isn't They're not laughing anymore. Some of them are asking me if I have any openings in my area.